Hi, so welcome back again to Adadi Adadi Block TV. Today we are talking about Tun Tun DK. Uh, guys, just stay tuned and watch this Tun Tun DK explanation about his ex husband. So he come out and cry publicly and explain how the marriage goes. You know, you know, you guys know that they are in court and right now. So Tun Tun is explaining how the husband. He never knew that the husband is a Yahoo guy. So right now. I want you to stay tuned and watch this video to the end and don't go anywhere listening and also home violence. He talk about home violence. So a lot of people wish that this marriage is not going to work and he has been trying to let the marriage work and he couldn't work before he left the marriage because a lot of this involved. So guys, I will not explain much. I would like you to say this video is going to be small long. Stay and hear by yourself what you to have to tell us about his marriage and the ex-husband and the son. So let's hear from her. He got me, and that was one of the fights we fought after King. He, the, the, when, I lost my mis when I lost my pregnancy, he pushed me down a flight of three stairs. We were fighting. Now, people will say, you know what, Tonto, why did you stay and you fought so long and you are fighting? This man is hitting you and you're fighting and you're not leaving. Domestic violence is not always very easy for you to walk away from. And don't forget the fact that everybody wanted this relationship to fail, even you that's watching it. You told yourself, you told your mother, you told your father, you told your sisters, you told your brothers that Tonto's marriage was not going to last. So how would I have left a marriage that you thought was not going to last? Would I not have worked so, so at least to a little extent to make it work, even if I was dying? A lot of people are going through this. Most of you sitting at home, even criticizing me, you are going through this. They are beating you every day and you are enjoying it because of your children's sake. I was, I was one of the only few people who could not, and I'm speaking out. And I would not be called a liar for speaking out. If you want to take this picture to America, to London, to Europe for forensic, I am in. Yes, um, I gave the court substantial amount of proof. I'm just going to show you just a little bit of one of some things I would wake up and find under my pillow, under my son's bed, on top of my son's novel. This is a conversation between myself and this, my son's father's younger brother when I was saying that they need to come and take this shit out of my home because I left. I've left, yeah, I've left him now. I've, I've divorced him already. So I, I said they need to come and break whatever cut is on this shit. And um, I gave the cut. Uh, yes, the cut actually does not admit that ball is in. But the strength of my accusation make them worry for concern about my child. Because it's a, it's a boy's life. I can, if I can speak and I can talk, and this is all they did to me, I would wake up. His, I mean, his mother was, every, we were married for, we were, he said we were married for, we, we lived together for, for six months, but we lived together for 10 months after marriage because I came back from um, America two months after I gave birth, February. Two months was February, March, April, April, and I divorced him, and I left his house by December. So that's nine, 10 months, right? So he said it was six months. I don't know where his head was, though, but he said it was six months, and I'm saying it was nine stroke 10 months that we live together and in that 10 9 to 10 months his mother was there maybe like five times and she would stay for like maybe two weeks one is okay family is okay i i did not worry about that my, my concern was the spiritual artifact that this woman would bring into the house all the time that was only the time when i became defensive or i became disrespectful to any member of his family when it came to that because i always always spoke up i never kept quiet about it. I always spoke up. So we always had fights about it. I also have documents of him telling me how he wants to go back. I'm sure all of those things will come up on, on this, how he wants to, um, how he was going to borrow money from me so he can go and do some jazz. I have all the documents here. Because he has a daughter already who he says that he doesn't have. I mean, he came, to, he came out and said that he has no child apart from King. This man has a child. And the mother of this child is jealously protecting the girl. Not to even be close to them. Because we all know, I, for one, I got married to him, so I know who he is. Churchill is a very selfish, manipulative person. This is a man that would insult his own mother 
call her all sorts of names. Treat her as though she was, or reply her. He was, he, he, he was, he was, he was a terrible person, so to speak. He's a very terrible person. And the only thing he cares about, and that's why anytime we fought, anytime he hit me and he beat me, I would always go to his jazz drawer, I would break his jazz, or I would go to his clothes where he has his designers. I would break them. Or I would break his laptop because I know that was the only thing that affected him. And I can remember clearly, he said it in his interview the first time. He's still with the same Azuka. And I also have documents of me telling Azuka. There's a document here. I said Azuka. I said I would I'm, I'm born again and I would not lie for that his child. You guys are hearing what from bed saying about it to date. And you see that cloth and and that Churchill, I'm putting it to you. Is if you have you any other receipts of anything so that you say that you bought like for your you son, bring it out. And you better be sure that those things are with me. You better be sure that those things are with your son. Because he lied that he lied that he bought my son a car when I left him. Just to show people that, oh, I have, I get money. You, you said you bought your son a car. What, what was that car again? I think it was, um, I can't remember, but it was eh? GLC. Eh? Something like, eh? GMC. GMC. Yes, the GMC. You said you bought your, your son a GMC. There's no GMC anywhere. You bought your, you, you use your fraud money to buy cars so you can ship your money into Nigeria, sell the car, and you got your money. You said you bought my son a car. Well, I live with my son. I see my son every day of his life. To the pin in his hair, to, he's not a girl, so he doesn't have a pin on his hair. But whatever. From, from his head to his toe, I am responsible for my son. I cater for that boy. And I don't disturb you for money because, you see, the truth is that some people have asked me, oh, why don't you, why don't you take him back to court because he's not paying child support? The truth is I want to be selfish with my son, I'm very selfish. If this man starts to pay child support on a regular basis, he would have access to my child. So for him to not pay gives me the leverage to change my son's name to what I want because I am now the father and the, and the mother to my son. And it's okay, like I told you, I've been broke before. I still get broke till today. Okay, so it's okay that you're broke and you cannot afford for your son. But then, can't you call your son? My son's birthday, he went and he wrote some emotional crap. Boo! I was sitting down. You, my best friend was with me throughout my party for my son. Nobody ever heard a call from this man to say, let me wish my son a happy birthday. But you go on social media to chase the clouds, telling them that God is going to bring your son together. Who took your son away in the first place from you? Which woman born a for woman on earth has the guts to keep away a child, a son for that matter, from a man who pays bills? Who born you well as a woman? My son's name is DK for now. It's not going to be DK forever. I will get married. My son's name will change. If I'm changing my name tomorrow, it will change. It would never answer his father's name as long as I live on this earth and as long as you're not doing your duties, which is making my job very easy. Like I said, these are the only things he bought for his child. One, two, three, set of nightgown. This is the pendant that this man said is 10,000 euro. Look at it. 10,000 euro for this. He said it. In his last interview three days ago, he said he bought a, a one of a kind necklace, bracelet, whatever. He said this is the it's in eighty thousand euro, something like that. Let me check my let me check the internet. I bought my son uh, a diamond pendant in Gandhi, like with the three diamonds. You know, very expensive. Well, I got it for like I think eight thousand. 400 euro. This is it. This is it. And that. Only. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is what Tonto uh, to is showing us. Say, this is it. And that. That is only what well, this man bought from The truth he is. He said he spent 8,000 euro. Say, so how, how can he spend 8,000 just only for Chen? And that's. 
if I were to write a letter to myself for five, five, ten years ago, so the first thing I was gonna, the first thing I would do is I'll really cry on that paper. I'd cry. I would cry. I would cry. I would cry. I would cry. And the only thing I'm going to write is I love you. Because I think that was the only thing I've ever wanted to hear. If I had so much love in my life, if I had love from my family, if I had a real friend, I wouldn't have made a lot of mistakes. So, if I was to write a letter to myself, I would say, Tonto, I love you. Because I know that, was, that is all she needs to know. And that's all she needs to, or she would have needed to have taken a different route. And these years are not years of sorrow. They're, they're just, just emotions. I would have done things differently. You know, um, it's sometimes people say, you, oh, you're stronger, you're hard, you don't sin, I don't care. You can lash out on Instagram when someone says this, you are saying that, your comebacks are great. But the truth is, all of those things, the negativity, as much as you think that they help to, yeah, there's a saying, no. Publicity is bad publicity, but some publicity can hurt you. And I've been one person who has been on the receiving end of hurt. How? I'm Tonto. I'm Tonto. I should have all the deals in, in coming into the entertainment industry. I have the largest followings. I have one of the largest followings. But some brands will say, oh, she's too controversial for our product. Oh, she's too, you know, so being controversial, being who I am, has always been a blessing and a curse. But I've pushed up. Always have. Always, always have. Recently I got three big deals, massive deals. One from, okay, I'm not gonna call names, but three massive deals. And I see myself getting all I've ever wanted gradually. It might take time, but I'll get there. But you see, the truth is, what you say, what you don't say, all of it can hurt you, positively or negatively. And I've been hurt a lot by myself, by my actions, by things I have done. And you know, I used to say in the past that I always gave people a reason to talk. Because if you said I was wicked, and I'm a very, I have an anger issue, but it's not a dangerous anger issue. It's, but you know that there's an anger issue. If I, if I get upset, I can, I, there's nobody I can talk to. There's no one in your face. I don't do behind your back. So I'm very bold. So I. If I had just kept my cool, organized myself and say, even if I'm upset, this is not the way to respond, or even if I'm upset, this is not the right thing for me to say, even if it feels like the right thing. You see, what I'm trying to say is more like giving you a tip for what you should not be as a public figure. I learn from people who have been above me. I don't know about people who are beneath me. But this is my way of saying that if you're out there, you need to take care of your reputation. No publicity is bad publicity, yes. But some publicity can keep you stagnant for the rest of your life. And that's no joke. That's not what an artist will want. That's what I suffered for a very long time and I'm only just stepping out of that shadow now. By the grace of God. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope I bored you to bet. <laughs>